Okay, so what we have here is a piece of tubing. It appears to be quarter inch wall, two by three. And uh, it was purchased from a place that sells uh, steel that's less than, uh, I guess, first quality. And the guy who's working on this thing, he uh, noticed that in the seam, you might be able to see it here. There's a split that runs all the way down this tubing. See it right here? Right there. So what he did is he put a bunch of intermittent welds all the way down this thing. And they're roughly four inches long. Looks like he's got about a 16 inch pitch between them. And when you put a bunch of weld on something like that on one side, what happens is uh, you get warpage. And uh, I put a chalk line on here to measure the warpage. And it's roughly two and three eighths at its worst in the center. But the whole purpose of putting this video on here is to show you that uh, putting heat in certain spots at certain size heat spots uh, can shrink this back so that it's straight. So I'm going to uh, take this chalk line on it, off, off of here. I'm going to put three spots of heat on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shoot another video. Because because after you heat it the first time, well after you heat it every time, that warpage gets a lot worse. But after it cools, it gets better. What's important to remember when you're heat straightening something is that you wait for it to completely cool. So I can I can touch it. These little brackets they welded on here, uh, you know, they're safe to touch. Uh, you never want to start heating something to straighten it out before it's done cooling. So, important. So, uh, I haven't heat straightened anything in probably about 10 years. So, but I used to be really, really good at it. So we'll see if I still got it. So this tube's about 25 foot long, okay? Um, and generally how I heat straighten things is I'll find the center line. That little circle is the spot where I'm gonna heat. And from the center line to the end, I'll go center there and I'll draw another circle. These circles are about the size of a silver dollar, by the way. And then I go from center the other way to the end and I'll put another circle. And I'll heat, I'll heat those three spots. I'll let it completely cool. Uh, immediately after I heat them, it's gonna really warp a, a, a lot worse than uh, it is right now, but that heat, when it eventually cools, is gonna shrink it right back down. So I'll go ahead and heat that up. I like to use a cutting torch on something like this. I'm not sure what size tip's in there, but I'll make it work. So, uh, We've got the three heat marks that I've heated and it's straightened out this tube a little bit. I'm not going to put the chalk line on it again, but I'm going to heat it uh, in between those spots. So I'm going to, from this bracket to this edge, I'm going to heat it in a spot. From that bracket to the center line, I'm going to heat it in a spot. From that center line to that bracket I'm going to heat it in a spot and then from that bracket to the end I'm going to heat it in a spot. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four more spots right now and then we're going to have another look at it. Um, okay. Remember if you're heat straightening to never use a rosebud on something that's too thick. Like you see I'm using a cutting torch with a uh, number one cutting tip. You go using a rosebud on this, it's going to uh, come back the other way and you're going to wind up having to heat the other side. But yeah, on something of this size, silver dollar size red spot, you want the whole thing glowing red, stop. And let it cool. So, uh, I think the heating is, is finished. I put, and it's really ironic. I've got 23 heat spots on this thing. I wound up having to heat it a little bit more than I thought. 
So 23 heat marks, and the guy who welded it put 24 welds on it. I, it's almost uh, it's almost a heat spot for every weld you know that he put on here. So um, moral of the story: you put a lot of heat on one side, it's gonna warp the other side. So you're gonna have to bring it back somehow. Heat straightening uh, is effective for most types of uh, steels, uh, different shaped steels are going to require different techniques. So you can't just put a dot on the other side of an I-beam and, and expect that to straighten it. So, you know, there's a certain way you got to heat it. So, it's pretty straight.